If you love zombie movies, please join me as I recap a Korean zombie film, Alive. Late one morning, Joon Woo finally gets out of bed. He is a passionate gamer with his studio and a significant following. His family, including his parents and sister, had all departed the house that morning for unknown reasons. Joon Woo eventually finds himself in front of the TV, watching urgent news. According to Anchor, individuals in the city are acting crazily and fighting one another for no apparent reason. The government has lost control, and, for the time being, everyone should stay inside. Thus, the populace was essentially becoming zombies from the balcony of his flat, and Jun Wu witnessed this tragedy. Everything was a complete mess on the ground. Numerous individuals were heard yelling and screaming as they ran for their life. There was an abrupt tap on Jun Wu's front door. Jun Wu's neighbor bursts in as he answers the door, saying, My brother has become a zombie. I don't have room to live, and I do not have space to stay. Jun Wu was terrified, so he told the person to go immediately. When Jun Wu notices that he is twitching, he knows something is wrong and attempts to convince him to leave home immediately. The person is hesitant to do anything but begs Jun Wu to at least use his bathroom. His eyes are bloodshot, and his new appearance seems almost complete as he emerges from the bathroom. Jun Wu just narrowly succeeds in getting him out of the home before the monsters grab him. A quick think from Jun Wu in the fridge is now blocking the door. Then, he makes many attempts to call his loved ones, but to no effect. When his mom sends him a message telling him they are okay and telling him to remain home, he begins to relax a little. Even while he attempts to save his limited supply of snacks at home, he finds that doing so is a Herculean task. Jun Wu quickly learns that the internet is teeming with individuals searching for loved ones and posting addresses under the hashtag hashtag alive. It is a message Jun Wu has already posted. He also finds a distressing video of a young guy using a selfie stick to hold his phone aloft from the terrace of a high-rise building in an attempt to gain a connection. The zombie apocalypse caused widespread damage to the nation's communication infrastructure. The dumb youth joyfully receives a signal, only to have it snatched away from him shortly afterward. He then tippy-toes, fumbles his footing, and is caught by the waiting zombies, our hero, who is also relatively computer-aware decides to upgrade his intelligence by affixing his phone to a drone. Using his drone, he discovers that most of his building's residents are now brain-eating zombies. He immediately quits his investigation when he realizes his charge is running low. Jun Wu is exhausted and decides to sleep it off. When he opens his eyes in response to the sounds, he sees a police officer brutally murdered by her own department's zombie police officers, again acting foolishly. Jun Wu tries to shout away the undead from about 100 meters away. However, this draws a zombie's attention near his residence instead of scaring them away. Using the refrigerator as an advantage, the zombie opens his door and enters his home. The sickness also gives them superhuman abilities. The zombie only almost escapes through the open window thanks to his trickery. Even though he escaped the zombie attack unscathed, it seems like whatever food was in the fridge has now been eaten off the floor. His father's booze seems to be what's for breakfast the following day. Smartly closing off the whole terrace is Jun Wu. He knocks over the final bottle of water while finishing the last noodles, leaving the rest of the house parched. All his earbuds are wireless, so he cannot use them as an antenna to listen to the radio on his phone. Jun Wu's hallucinations of a family reunion make him seem insane or intoxicated. He feels terrible upon awakening from the illusion. The signal from his mother's call is so weak that he can hardly make out what she is saying. Then he does the same thing that some moronic young person did online. While he miraculously avoids the horde of amassed zombies, he does notice the fact that his loved ones are in distress. He destroys household items and storms outdoors in a rage. Jun Wu keeps impressing me with his foolishness. He spots an unusually sluggish zombie and takes his frustration out with a golf club while calling for reinforcements. A wave of undead quickly approaches, almost drowning him. Talk about prayers being answered, huh? Miraculously, he makes it to his home and ends his own life. A laser beam is shown into his home from the flat next door while he hangs from the noose he has knotted. The sign on the wall reads, no, and the beam directs attention there. After much effort, he breaks free of the rope and turns his attention to the shaft. We next meet our female protagonist when the beam identifies a series of letters inscribed on the wall as the word, idiot. It seems that Kim Yoo Bin was keeping an eye on Jun Woo via a pair of binoculars. Now that he has broken free of the rope, Jun Woo gestures enthusiastically at her. When he waves back, she indicates they should meet again at 7 o'clock. Then, 
we get to peek into the house of our leading lady. Contrary to Jun Wu, she looks organized and has set up booby traps for zombies around her home. Instead of waking up at 7, as initially agreed, Jun Wu now sleeps until noon. Apologetically, he points to his phone and apologizes by projecting his name. It is a two way street, and she responds. They make a quick effort to talk and then decide to meet at 7 o'clock. There is a noise, and she is looking for it. A zombie found its way inside her home and was caught in one of her traps. She promptly severed its head with an axe. At the agreed upon time the following day, Yu Bin tries to feed Jun Wu after seeing that he is hungry. To try to get into his house, she ties a rope to a baseball and hurls it across the street. This time, the ball does not make it. Then, Jun Wu sends Yu Bin a string by drone. The female protagonist is more of a traditionalist than Jun Wu. She brings him some food and drinks over the rope bridge. As it turns out, one of the zombies used the ball and rope that didn't make it over as a ladder to get inside Yu residence. Jun Wu indicates this with a gesture and flies his drone near the zombie to scare it away. In its rage, the zombie destroys the drone, allowing Yu Bin to chop off the zombie's hand, causing them to fall many stories. While foraging for supplies, Jun Wu visits neighboring homes and returns with wired earphones, two walkie talkies, and some food before being chased back home by zombies. A walkie talkie and some food that Yu Bin gave him are in the container he's returning. The walkie talkies provide their first genuine exchanges of information. Hearing what he takes to be rain, Jun Wu begs Yu Bin, also talking, bringing out some basins. Everyone checks the terraces, but it is not raining. Instead, they observe hordes of zombies charging into both buildings at once. Both parties strive to remain unseen and quiet, but Yu Bin accidentally knocks down a bookcase in her home, prompting both parties to go into hiding. She makes plans to depart since she anticipates being overrun by zombies at any moment. She tells Jun Wu that she is going to the unoccupied eighth floor of the building where Jun Wu lives. They are eager to ascend, so they make that decision together. Yu Bin's axe swinging sprint from her home's terrace toward the opposite apartment building throws off significant girl infatuation feelings. Luckily, Jun Wu rushes out to aid her, and the two of them make it inside the eighth floor elevator just in time to avoid being overrun by zombies. On the eighth level, there is momentary calm until the onslaught of zombies returns. The guy throws open his door and hurries to bring them inside before they are devoured. He looks kind and helpful offering them food and assuring them that he has spotted a rescue squad approach. Although first elated, they soon realize that the meal included narcotics, and their happiness quickly fades. When Yu Bin comes, he is being brought to a room while Zip tied. It seems he intends to feed her to his now zombified wife. When Jun Wu and Yu Bin fight, the woman pulls her pistol to prevent herself from being bitten, and his wife bites the man. However, this attracts more zombies, when they realize death was imminent. They decided to kill themselves with guns rather than be bitten. They hear the rescue helicopters just as they pull the trigger. With renewed optimism, they make it to the apartment building's rooftop, only to discover that the helicopter has disappeared. The undead eventually makes it to the roof and begins to approach slowly. They are about to be overrun by zombies when suddenly the military arrives in a helicopter, firing at the undead while also assisting the survivors on board the aircraft. After receiving a letter from his loved ones informing him of their well being, Jun Wu turns to Yu Bin, and the two of them share a moment of gratitude for their continued survival. That is all for now, people. I hope you enjoyed the recap. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, thank you.